my approach has been a little bit scattergun. I have to, I've tried lots of different things. So I, I've used the Hoff, which I know you've you've mentioned a few times, and I I, I don't know. The site is ranking well, and organic traffic is growing. It's very difficult, I think, to to measure and to gauge how well these things work. So. Yeah, I spent some money on the Hoff. I went and I, I paid $500, in fact, for one of their links. And it seems like a pretty good link. And it brings a bit of traffic. And it's on a nice site that's really busy and, and that kind of thing. So I've done that. I've done a few bits of guest posting. However, that's been a, probably a bit easier for me because of the YouTube channel. So a lot of people share their sites with me. And if I see that they've got a, a site, say, for example, on camping, on skiing, on anything to do on fishing, I don't know, anything to do with a roof box, I'll say, I'll create an article for your site. Is that cool? And they'll say, yeah. So for the fishing site, I'll, I'll send over an article on the best roof box for a fishing rod. And and they've been accepting it. So that, I've been doing some guest posting that way. Obviously, it's a lot harder in the real world. You'd have to do some outreach and that kind of stuff. I did a bit of YouTube. Again, I went to the Hoff and they created some videos for me. On hindsight, those videos are not the best, maybe. Basically, I just gave them some of my articles and said can you turn this into a video which they did and it's a guy presenting it and there's some b-roll footage in there i don't know how much value that's brought in and i've done a lot of pinterest so uh, every or you know, pretty much every article has a little uh, pin pin image on it and i'll make sure that i pin that to pinterest um for the link I don't, it doesn't bring in a lot of traffic but i'm i'm sure those pinterest links are worth something aren't they <laughs> i don't know i think um Maybe just a tiny bit if they're bringing in traffic because they're going to be a no follow link. Yeah. But if they're bringing in traffic, well, that has its own like intrinsic value. But if, uh, yeah, if, I mean, the problem is anyone can create as many Pinterest <laughs> links as they want. So the the value goes down. Yeah, they're not that valuable, I guess. No. Oh, and the other thing I guess I should say is I, I've, I did quite a bit on Quora um and other question and answer sites so when i was doing searches around some of my articles you know when people were searching for what's the best roof box for a subaru outback if i saw a quora question come up that was similar or the same i would then answer it and um and offer a pretty good answer you know quite in-depth answer and and then get a link back to the site and a lot of them are stuck actually they've stuck quite well the quora question would often outrank my site um, but then within that answer, there would be a link back. And, and generally, the answer would be like the, the top answer or, or, or one answer that was near the top. And I don't know what your experience has been with those question answer sites. A lot of my viewers have found it quite difficult to get any traction there. But I think with those question answer sites, as long as you deliver some valuable information in your answer, then there's no reason why it shouldn't stick. And you can always reference back to your site in terms of where you got um, the information from. Cool. Do you, do you use any Quora stuff or any of that? I don't. And I, I, I've heard it can be effective. And I think if you had the right approach, like you're talking about where you actually were answering a real question and to your point, um, before about the nearly endless number of questions, like does X roof box fit this car? Yeah. And there's multiple versions of cars where it's like, you know, an out, well, I don't know what the outbacks are like, but for the various trim lines, you may have a different, a uh, slightly different size for, the specific um, roof rails to yeah, actually yeah. install the roof rack. So th those tiny things were like one inch off or the mounting bracket could be a major issue. Again, I understand the the, the perils and, and the difficulty of like getting a roof box because <laughs> there's all these little details like. Yeah, yeah and do, every car is different. And do they have roof bars or do they have the, the side runners and. If you've yep. got a panoramic roof, all these kind of things. Yeah, they, there's loads of cars that you can talk about. And so there's loads of questions on Cora about these things. And, yep. you know, how can I reduce the noise of my roof box? And can I use my roof box when it's empty? And and can I store, how do you store a roof box? Which then kind of led on to these other products that I didn't know were available. You can get a whole load of hoists and other bits of kit that you can put into your garage to store your roof box. So, you know, I created loads of content around them and they're doing pretty well. Oh, but, um, yeah, I, I, fa okay. I found that the, the question and answer sites have been a good place to quite quickly um build up a few links gotcha and do, do you know how much traffic is coming in through quora or is there any traffic uh quora? probably let's have a look um okay yeah i got free free visits from quora last day so maybe that's not a great example but i, I, I just think i don't know if the links are a follow or no follow or whatever but it, it's just something that i did to build up some links and yeah so doing well the other 
yeah, that's about it. I think in terms of link building, I, d- I don't know if how important link building is. I mean, you need to have a few, obviously, but I think you know when you're writing articles about stuff that there isn't much out there already, and you know Google sees your site and there's no black marks against your site. You haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason why you still can't rank really well without too many backlinks. I think. I, I, I mean, that's the whole keyword golden ratio concept. You know, uh, find yeah. things that aren't served well that uh, maybe people are looking for. So yeah, yeah, and then that way you don't you don't need too many links, do you? 